Certainly, the search for alternative energy sources is strongly related to the modern age and current solutions, such as the electrification of both work and personal vehicles. However, for decades, multiple automotive companies have been trying to find alternatives to traditional combustion engines, with the 1950s and 1960s being a significant era for the American automotive industry in this regard. During this time, various proposals emerged, ranging from some far-fetched ideas like using nuclear energy in vehicles, which frankly had little chance of being implemented, to others that had more opportunities to be integrated into the industry, such as gas turbines as the main engine for trucks. Thus, in 1966, General Motors revealed one of its most ambitious projects, the Chevrolet Turbo Titan III. The development history of this peculiar project began with General Motors' own interest in developing gas turbines in the 1950s. Since then, the American company developed several gas turbine engines, the GT304 and 305 models, which were tested in both their conceptual vehicle models, such as the Firebird as well as in the previous prototype of this truck, the Turbo Titan 1 and 2. Alongside General Motors' efforts, other companies also showed interest in these solutions, leading to more developments and the launch of some interesting proposals like the Chrysler Turbine Car. However, the company that came closest to GM's work was undoubtedly Ford with its big red prototype which we already have a video on the channel about, as these were launched almost simultaneously with a very similar concept. However, what truly set the Turbo Titan III apart from the rest of the prototypes was its structure and design. Its futuristic proposal was built using materials such as stainless steel panels and fiberglass. It also featured an aerodynamic design for its body, prioritizing the protection of key components like fuel tanks and batteries with side panels that covered almost the entire structure. Another characteristic element of its design was the massive functional air intake at the front. These played a crucial role not only in the design, but also in the operation of the turbine, as it required large amounts of fresh air to stay cool during its combustion process, which exceeded 600 degrees Celsius. Additionally, these air intakes housed retractable headlights, popular at the time and used in iconic models like the Chevrolet Camaro and Dodge Charger. This cab over engine truck featured various auxiliary electric mechanisms, such as a tilting system that facilitated access to the cab. Alongside the truck itself, General Motors engineers set to work designing and manufacturing a special semi-trailer for the unit, which had a length of 12 meters and was made entirely of stainless steel. With this, the total dimensions of the set reached 15.2 meters in length and a total weight of nearly 35 tons. For its part, the interior was not far behind in terms of design, inspired by what automotive companies believed would be the future of the industry. Two seats with headrest and suspension, which seemed to have been taken straight from a NASA project, complemented a unique extended central console that lacked a traditional steering wheel. Instead, there was a pedestal with two handles operated by wrist movements. This solution developed by GM was called Twin Dial, which was inspired by a similar system developed by Ford known as the Wrist Twist Instant Steering System. The idea was for drivers to use only one hand to control the unit, and it featured power steering, making it easy to maneuver without requiring much force. It's worth noting that advertisements boasted about incorporating an FM radio receiver, something novel at the time. All of the aforementioned serves only as a prelude to the truly most interesting part of this concept, its propulsion system. This truck had a gas turbine called GT309 as its main engine, which was developed over 15 years. Although this turbine generated a power of only 280 horsepower, which may seem low, its most impressive feature was its torque, reaching close to 1,200 newton meters. It should be noted that this engine could rotate up to 35,000 revolutions per minute. However, since no gearbox or drive shaft of the time could transmit that speed, it was reduced to just 4,000 revolutions per minute in order to couple with a six-speed Allison MT40 automatic transmission. 
With this, the Chevrolet Turbo Titan III reached such a high potential that the possibilities for mass production skyrocketed. This was achieved through an intense promotional campaign for the model on both coasts of the United States, highlighting the virtues of the gas turbine as the main engine. Among these virtues were its ability to be powered by practically any fuel, although the officially preferred fuels were diesel or kerosene, as well as its low emissions of harmful gases. Its reduced weight, despite having dimensions similar to those of a conventional diesel engine of the time, and the great reliability of these engines. Despite the fact that by the point the Turbo Titan III project only boasted positive qualities and a promising outlook for commercial use, a couple of small but important reasons led to the project's imminent cancellation. Ironically, these reasons were entirely linked to the engine itself, as its high fuel consumption and the costs of both construction and maintenance led to the idea of mass production being decisively dismissed. Sadly, after the conclusion of the development program for this project, the only existing prototype was destroyed. Unlike the aforementioned Ford Big Red prototype resulting in the only legacy left for prosperity being the images and videos recorded of this truck during its journey across the United States. Thank you for watching our video. If you liked it and want more similar content, please subscribe to our channel. We also invite you to visit our secondary channel, Gear Unlimited, where you'll find a wide variety of topics. We appreciate your support and interest. Keep on trucking and stay tuned for more.